Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing five super easy and delicious dump and go crock pot recipes. These are all recipes that our whole family loves, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. This video is also in partnership with WW. I've been on WW for almost two months now and I've never been the type of person that's able to stick to anything longer than a few days. So the fact that I'm still going strong with this healthier lifestyle is huge for me. It's attainable and I really love their approach to wellness and how the program is based on a more holistic approach that focuses not only on your food, but also your activity, your mindset, and even your sleep. So WW creates a customized wellness plan for you and it makes wellness so much more approachable no matter where you are in your journey. My biggest goal and focus was staying consistent and accountable and with all the tools available on WW, I feel confident in being able to stick to my goals and my plan. Okay, so for our first recipe, I'm gonna make chicken ranch tacos and all you're gonna need is some chicken breasts, some ranch seasoning and your favorite salsa. You literally just dump everything in and cook it on either low or high. I'm gonna cook it on low since I'm starting it earlier in the day. And then once you're done, you can shred it and then top with your favorite taco toppings. I know there's a lot of you who are also on the green plan with me and this recipe is really low in points and it's so satisfying. So I definitely see myself having this at least once a week. And if you're interested and you're not yet on WW, make sure you click the link below to take the WW personal assessment completely free. You'll get a view of your overall wellness and a personalized starting point for your wellness journey. So you can use my code Tara 10 for a special discount on your WW membership. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys how I'm tracking this recipe tonight. So I have it inputted in my, my recipes. So if you go down here, you can go to recipes and then created by you. So I created this recipe, so I just called it chicken ranch salsa crock pot. Um, and then you can put in how many servings you are having. So I'm gonna have three servings tonight. So it's eight points because I'm having three taco shells. So I really only had to input the chicken and the taco shells. The rest of the ingredients in this recipe are zero points. Um, so the salsa zero points, the ranch seasoning zero points. And so yeah, I only have to track the chicken and the taco shells. So, I put that in right here. So it's not dinner time yet, but I know I'm gonna have three. So um, I really like obviously the barcode scanner, which I've shown a ton on stories and on my YouTube channel. But um, if I'm like grocery shopping or something and I forget how many points something is or I'm trying to meal plan, I can just scan the barcode and it'll tell me right there how many points it is. So zero points for this, zero points for the ranch seasoning. Um, so really low point dinner tonight. So I have 12 points left for the rest of the day, which is actually pretty good. So I can have, I didn't have any snacks today yet. I'll probably have one before dinner and then I can have a little dessert if I want to. Okay, the next dump and go crock pot recipe is one that I've made a ton. Everyone loves it in our family and it's a really good like hearty meal. So all you need is some chicken breast, some little mini potatoes. Uh, I'm using the yellow ones and then a bag of green beans. And then I'm gonna top that with olive oil, salt and pepper, minced garlic, this Flavor God ranch seasoning, and then two tablespoons of butter. So I'm just gonna dump everything in the crock pot and then turn it on low for eight hours. Beautiful. Mom, what do I do? They're Mom. potatoes. Potatoes? Mm -hmm. Cute potatoes? Whoa, I didn't know that was in the inside. I didn't know that that was in the inside. You didn't know? I didn't know. I didn't know what was in the inside. What is it called? Potatoes. No, what is the inside called? The inside of the potato. I can. Yeah. And that kind of makes a weird noise. 
What does? Because okay. I'm cutting it. Yeah. Can I take it off? Take what off? Like the thing off. It's really sharp. I don't want you getting cut. Can you go play with Tatum? No. No? No. You just want to watch me? Okay, I'm about to track today's dinner, so I'm gonna go up here, and I've already created this recipe, so it'll make it really easy. So I'm gonna go to my food up here, and then go to recipes, and then the chicken, green beans, and potatoes, um, and I'm gonna have one serving, so that's five points. And I'll show you guys how I do that. I think I'm gonna make a crock pot recipe later on in this video. So I'll show you guys how I add all the ingredients. Oh wait, did I add that to the wrong section? Yeah, I put that in lunch. Whoops, so if you do that, you can just swipe and remove it. Um, so for dinner, I'm gonna track it again. So there it is right there. So chicken, green beans, and potatoes. So I have 12 points left for the day. So when you go to track something like ahead of time, so it's obviously not dinner time yet, but I know that I'm having that for dinner. Um, you can go to your recipes and then you can click if it's morning, lunch, dinner. Um, so I just had to click this to let the app know that it was dinner time and then it puts it in the correct time slot. Okay, this next crock pot recipe is one that I make all the time. It's probably the most simple recipe. It's only three ingredients, so you're gonna need some chicken breast. So I just rinsed mine and put it down on the bottom there. And some barbecue sauce and whatever seasoning you want. So I'm gonna use this Flavor God ranch seasoning, and then I'll do some salt and pepper too. But that's it, you just put your chicken down, drizzle some barbecue sauce on top. You can use whatever barbecue sauce you want. Um, and I just kind of eyeball it, so I'll probably do like three-fourths of whatever is left in this bottle and then top it with your seasonings. And I'm gonna cook mine on high today for four hours because I'm starting it a little bit later in the day. But that is all you do. And then I plan on eating mine over some romaine hearts with like salsa and some shredded cheese. Adam and the kids will most likely eat theirs on a bun. So I got buns for them and you can put whatever you like on top, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles, cheese, um, but shredded barbecue chicken, I'll shred it once it's cooked, is so good to have on hand. You can put it over salads, so many different things. So we're gonna cook that for dinner tonight and I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's done. Okay, it's about four hours later. This is what the chicken looks like right now. I'm about to, sorry, the kids are playing with dot markers in the back. They just got home from gymnastics. I'm about to shred this and then I'll put it back in here.
Okay, so I just put the chicken back in and I'm stirring up all the sauce that was in here. What, honey? Yep, it's gonna be super yummy. Yummy. It's barbecue chicken sandwiches. We can make salmon tomorrow. There we go. Okay, dinner was so good. I haven't tracked it yet though, so I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. I'm gonna save this recipe because I feel like I'm gonna make those all the time and have this often. So to do that, I'm gonna go to the hamburger menu up here and I'm gonna click recipes, create a recipe, and then you can title it whatever you want. So I'm gonna title it barbecue, chicken, lettuce, wraps. And then, um, it's about six servings, the recipe is. And then um, I'm gonna go to ingredients down here and click add. So the only two ingredients that I need to track are the chicken breasts. And I did two of those. So I'm gonna go to serving size and click two breasts. So you can either change it to like how many pounds you use, how many cups you use, ounces, but I know I used two breasts, so those are eight points. And then I'm gonna click add ingredient and go to the barcode scanner and just scan in this barbecue sauce and it'll tell me exactly how many points it is. So I used about, say, five tablespoons. And then I'm gonna click add ingredient. And those are the only two ingredients that I need to track because the salsa and the lettuce are zero points. So, I'm gonna click create up here at the top. And um, one serving is three points. So it's a pretty low point meal. So now I'm gonna go down here to dinner and I'm gonna track it. So I'm gonna go up here to the search bar and slide over and click my food. Go to recipes and then there it is, barbecue chicken wraps. So I'm gonna track that. And then there is all of my meals for the day. Okay, new day, new crock pot recipe. Today I'm making meatball ravioli and all you need is some frozen meatballs. These are the ones that we're gonna be using. I have two bags of them. And then I think I have another bag of this. I'm gonna make a pretty big batch of this because I'm assuming the kids and Adam are gonna eat this like crazy. So um, some frozen cheese ravioli, and then you're gonna need some pasta sauce. I'm using this tomato basil one that we had on hand from Trader Joe's. And then you can either use condensed milk or regular milk. I'm using regular milk because I don't have condensed milk on hand. So you're just gonna basically layer it in the crock pot. I'm gonna spray this first so it doesn't stick. Spray the bottom, and then just layer all the ingredients on top and then I'm gonna cook it on low today for about seven, eight hours-ish. Okay, I just noticed that all that footage was not even in focus, so I'm so sorry, but it's so easy. You cannot screw this up. You basically just layer all the ingredients until you're done and then I'm gonna cook this on low like I said for like seven to eight hours and then once it's done I'm gonna sprinkle this is just the cheese that we had on hand in the fridge and then put the lid on top let the cheese melt and then that's okay, it for so. tonight's dinner I already did this earlier so I went to recipes and created it so I showed you guys how I did that I think in my last recipe so I'm gonna go to dinner and then I'm gonna click the search bar and slide over and click my food and then go to recipes and there it is, meatball ravioli. So it's nine points but I have um, a lot of points left over so I'm gonna track that for my dinner tonight and it should fit in. Yeah, so I have six points left and there we go. Okay, for our last crock pot recipe, we're gonna make a crock pot roast. My dad is in town this weekend. It's Sunday, it's 
I don't want to say cold outside, but it's windy and gloomy, <laughs> and I think it's like 85 degrees, but that's just how it is out here in Texas in the fall. We don't get cooler temps until like after Halloween, so we're going to pretend that it's nice and cold outside. It's cool inside. We have our AC running, but I'll show you guys everything that you're going to need for this recipe. It looks a little... It looks a little more intricate, but I promise you just dump everything in. Obviously, you have to chop up the onion, but um, we have our roast. This is beef chuck roast, onion, bay leaves, parsley, thyme, carrots, parsnips, some beef broth, some cornstarch, avocado oil, coconut aminos, balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper, and then it asks for minced garlic but we I don't know what happened to our minced garlic I had like a huge thing of it in the fridge it somehow just disappeared so I'm gonna do garlic salt instead and just do a little bit less salt than what it asks for and I'll link this recipe down below along with all the other recipes but I'm going to dice up the onion and then wash the produce and then I'll show you guys what I do next you got two minutes of my time Okay, we had some leftover potatoes, so I'm gonna throw those in as well, even though the recipe doesn't call for it. I'm gonna wash these off. Okay, I'm putting a little bit of avocado oil in this pan, and I'm gonna sear the roast in here for like two minutes on each side just to get it like browned a little bit. I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper and stick it on the pan. I guess you don't necessarily have to do this step, but. It's, it kind of like walks in the seasoning. Yeah. You just did salt and pepper on both sides and let it sear for about two minutes on each side and then we'll stick oh. it in the crock pot. Yeah, Chef Tatum and Chef Adam. Tara's, uh, she's gonna go get her lashes extended or something, so. I don't know what you guys do. So that's just me. I'm gonna finish this recipe. So uh, we got the roast, roasting, and um, got the sear, sear on all, all four sides, and I'm gonna shove that thing in here, and then chop up some uh, some veggies and throw them in there. So Tara can't find the tripod, so I'm gonna use this. Perfect. Something smells good. You betcha. <laughs> Uh, I think they're doing quiet time. <laughs> That's the best thing ever invented. I, I don't know who invented it. See that? Ah, my arm's getting, getting tired. Ah, there we go. God, it's like 25 pounds. These are a big deal though. These are a cooking. Yeah. You need these. Thank you. Cheers. Ding. <laughs> Add the onions. Okay. Remove from the pan. Add to the slow cooker, add the parsnips, carrots, rosemary, thyme, bay leaves. All right, that's easy enough. Um, I didn't use all the carrots because it seems like that's like enough. There's a lot of carrots in there, so that's enough. Um, here we go. Hey, I don't know, bow keeps falling off. Oh, you are beautiful. I love you. All right, next, I'm not really sure. I think broth or something. There we go. Literally no idea how much of that was recorded because I've freaking ran out of space, so. That's silly. Um, so, I don't know if you guys know this, but Tara doesn't use measuring cups for anything. She just like eyeballs it, so in honor of her, I'm gonna do this. So two tablespoons, this is Tara's measurements. She's like, oh, that's one. Oh, that's two. And a little extra for Chloe. Need a clip. Cool way. Watch some. All right. Um, so now I'm gonna put the rest of the stuff in. Um, balsamic vinegar, thyme. I already put the beef broth. Probably didn't see that because um, my camera was dead. And a bay leaf. Just watch me break in. Another tripod. Hi. Hi, baby. 
Four hours. And that is it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, here's the final result. <laughs> Take a bite, Dad. You'll be our taste tester. And the, the parsnip. <laughs> okay, here we go. Chloe wants some. Oh, no. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but it's funny. <laughs> is it good? The parsnips, too. The parsnips? And those are really good by the way. Okay, and then to track it, I already created the recipe earlier today. So I'm gonna go to dinner, and then up here to my food recipes, and there it is, crock pot roast. So I only had to track the, obviously the roast, which was pretty high in points, but um, it serves eight. So that was the highest point ingredient in the roast and then the parsnips balsamic vinegar balsamic vinegar and then the cornstarch everything else was zero points so i'm going to click track recipe and there we go but i think that's going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed all those really really easy dump and go crock pot recipes every single one of us in our family enjoyed them so hopefully you guys do too all the recipes will be down in the description box in case you guys want to recreate any of them and thank you again to ww for sponsoring this video it has been so cool to see how many of you guys are doing ww too and i've just really been enjoying chatting with you guys learning new tips and tricks from you it's been so fun to do this alongside a lot of you as well so all the information on WW will be down in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.